In this screencast I'll show you how to use the Wilson activity model to calculate binary VLE data. So to start with the theory that we need to use for this is shown here. So we have an equation for gamma 1 and for gamma 2 to calculate the two activity coefficients for components 1 and 2 and these are based on uh, the, the liquid mole fractions of components 1 and 2 and also on these symbols here which are capital lambdas so we've got lambda 1 2 and lambda 2 1 and they're given to us by these equations shown here where lambda 1 2 equals the molar volume of component 2 divided by the molar volume of component 1 times by the exponential of this term here so it's minus lambda 1 2 minus lambda 1 1 divided by RT where R is the gas constant and T is the absolute temperature in Kelvin and then for capital lambda 2 1 it's uh, just the reverse is very similar setup and these terms here lowercase lambda 1 2 minus lowercase lambda 1 1 and its corresponding uh, example these are constants that are independent of temperature and composition so we can implement these equations in Excel and we've got some values here literature values for the uh, the Wilson binary parameters uh, we've got the molar volumes and we've got the gas constant now you'll note that the gas constant has the units calories per mole per Kelvin and that's because the Wilson parameters are in calories per mole Okay, so we this is very similar to the previous binary VLE calculations that we've done. We've got values for x1 and 2, and then we calculate the lambda 1, 2, and the lambda 2, 1 for Wilson, and then we work out the overall equation for gamma 1 and gamma 2 using these parameters. And then as before we use the modified Routes law. So we include gamma 1 times x1 and then multiply that by the Antoine equation. And we can also do that for component 2. We get the total pressure here. Now this temperature has been varied such that the pressure equals 760 millimeters of mercury. And it's been done over a range of compositions so that we can do an XY plot that looks like this. Now, as you can see from this example for THF water, the Wilson model is the best fit. And you can see that actually molecules, ideal van law, are, are really quite poor. NRTL is a bit better, but it's still not satisfactory in terms of the model fit for this data. Another question that we need to address is around the temperature dependence of the molar volumes. Now in this spreadsheet I've actually put in some equations, quadratic equations, that show the temperature dependence of the molar volumes. So instead of just having a fixed value for molar volume, these vary with the temperature. And in the next plot, so this is all set up and calculated as before but with this temperature dependence for the molar volumes and in this plot it just shows Wilson as we did before with the fixed value of molar volume and then this Wilson 2 where we've actually built in the temperature dependence and you can see for this example it makes very little difference to actually have the temperature dependence there. Literature data is shown here and so this is the XY data and we've got some temperature versus what well, density versus temperature data and we've got that for uh, different components and let's see for this one V1 this is for the THF density versus temperature and we fit a polynomial in the relevant range and then we also have the same for water where we fit a polynomial to the molar volume in the relevant range there. Okay, just some concluding notes on Wilson then. 
The Wilson Activity Model was introduced in 1964 and is based on the concept of local composition. So within a liquid solution, the local compositions uh, are assumed to be different from the overall mixture composition and are presumed to account for the short range order and non-random molecular orientations. This effect uh, arises from differences in molecular size and molecular forces and these differences in, in the molecular interactions are accounted for in the model by the constants within the model and, and values for these constants are reported in the literature for a wide range of different binary systems. In terms of advantages and disadvantages for Wilson there's a, a built-in temperature dependence for the parameters which is obviously a positive and an advantage. Also the model can be extended to multi-component systems and these multi-component systems can be described by parameters for the constituent binary systems. Uh, there is possibly some reduced flexibility in data fitting, but overall this gives us a, a picture of how Wilson can be used to model binary VLE data.